What's up guys, Hong, Uchi Fitness, welcome to the channel. So before we get started, like the video and subscribe and of course click on the notification bell. If this is your first time, I'm 41 years old, uh, judoka, brown belt. I've been grappling and doing martial arts pretty much my whole life. Okay, the grappling part, it's only been maybe uh, about 10 years, something like that. Right, so six years of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and about four or five of uh, Judo, right? And uh, yeah, and I'm also a trainer, okay? So if ever you guys are interested in that, we could, uh, I could coach you guys online or whatnot. So I'll put the, the links are down below if you're interested. Um, set up a, a phone call so we can talk about it. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get into it. So I had a subscriber, one of the guys in the community, Ask the question, well, what's more important for uh, for judo, BJJ? Is it strength or is it technique? Okay, so <clears throat> here's the thing. Technique, if I'd had, technique is what's more important. That being said, if you're a wimp, okay, and you don't, you're, you're not even, you're out of shape and stuff for that, your technique, okay, will probably be, Easily, and it depends on the level of technique, but generally speaking, uh, you can have a lot of technique, but if you don't have the strength and the, 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 the fitness to back it up, right, then you're probably gonna get crushed by somebody who has maybe less technique, uh, but who's just athletic and a, 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 a grinder, a brawler, right? He'll, he'll still whoop your ass, man, because you know, you'll, well, you're weak. So that's the thing, right? So now I wanna elaborate on that a little bit. So, okay, technique. But you do need strength, okay, and uh, endurance, right, and cardio to be able to back all of that up, okay. Now, if all you have is strength and you have no technique and you go, you fall on a guy who's maybe as strong as you or just a little bit, just a little bit uh, not as strong, right? That's w a slightly weaker than you, then you'll lose, right? Because you have no technique. Okay, but uh, if, for example, you meet a guy who, uh, who also trains, right, and for argument's sake, let's just keep it in the same sport, okay, because then there's too many variables and it's hard to, uh, to, to, to get the point across and then we just go all over the place. So, for example, in judo, okay, because that's my thing, two guys, <clears throat> okay, same level of progression, right, been training for about the same amount of time, same belt level, right, same uh, same athleticism, okay? One of them has m is more technical than the other, okay? Well, and same, same strength. Then the more technical guy wins, right? And of course, let's just assume also that they're both, uh, uh, they have the same mindset when it comes to fighting. You know, they're both aggressive, they both attack and all that. So the guy with everything else being equal, okay, then the guy with more technique will win, right? Now that being said, let's take these two guys again, right? And um, everything the same, but now the guy has, one guy is uh, much weaker, right? That's the only difference, he's much weaker. So when I say much weaker, let's say something to the effects of like 30% weaker, right? 30% weaker, 30, 40% weaker. Even though he has technique, he has better technique, okay? He'll lose, he'll lose. It's as simple as that. Because the, the stronger guy is gonna, is, you know, he's just going to um, cancel out all those techniques and all that because the other guy is just too weak. So it really isn't, it, there's a balance to be made between technique and strength. Now, of course, you can't you can't just get away with technique, man. Like if you're if you're out of shape, and I made another video on this uh, regarding the uh, the minimum requirements for a martial artist, uh, according to Bruce Lee, somewhat right from what I've read and what I've heard in the past, and of course what I put down as some minimum requirements, right? But if you're not a minimum fit, then you can have all the technique in the world, and you'll still get crushed by a guy who just has bigger muscle, because you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to handle it, man. He's just gonna punch you in the head, grab you, and just, you know, throw you on the whatever. He'll, he'll do what he wants with you because you're just too weak. Your little technique is not gonna, it's not gonna work. Okay. So, that being said, <clears throat> you can't be a pussy, right? So what's a pussy? Well, 
If you can't even do like 30 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 100 squats, run a mile, okay, uh, in under 10 minutes at least, you know, and then do like 10 pull-ups, all of that, one, like one after the other, then you're not really physically fit. So if you're not really physically fit, I mean, man, you're gonna have a hard time, man. If you meet somebody who, uh, even if you have more technique and stuff like that, you're gonna get crushed by somebody who has, let's say, half of your technique, but it's just fit. He'll, he'll mess your shit up. You know, you know, and that's that's just the way it goes, man. So now, that being said, two guys being equal, technically equal, progression, uh, progression level equal, same belt level, okay? Uh, who wins? Well, stronger guy, simple as that, right? And uh, you know, technique is only could only bring it, it could uh, it could only bring you so far, right? And it could bring you very far. But everything else being equal, like if you guys are about the same strength, about the same everything, and then you have like more technique than the guy, then you win, right? So it's really a uh, a, a balance that you have to find in between that. But if you're not physically fit, then you should really take care of that. And uh, of course, technique is important, but you're gonna see. You realize this when you when you spar, right? So that's why if you're doing some kind of traditional martial art where you don't, uh, there's no uh, there's no sparring involved, like you don't realize the importance of uh, of, of of strength, you know. And, and weight, there's weight classes for a reason, man. You know because strength matters, especially when the other guy knows what the hell he's doing, you know. Um, so. Once again, this debate is it's very, um, uh, how do you say it? There's a lot of things you have to take into context, right? And into consideration. But if you take it into the consideration, there's a, in sports, right? In combat sports, like in boxing and stuff like that. They have weight classes for a reason, man. Because <laughs> when you're heavier and when you're stronger and you have more muscle mass and stuff like that, it's, it, it's a game changer, man. So you see, like as much technique as you might have like let's say if a guy has okay for example my coach right he's about uh, six foot okay and he's about uh, close to 200 pounds i'm like five five eight five seven and a half eight something like that right i'm 150 pounds 55 right now 155 so he has about 45 pounds over me and he's stronger okay and he's more technical like i can't beat him I can't I just can't like I could I could give them a little bit of uh, what's the word I'm resistance but no man it doesn't work like forget about it you know like uh, as much as I want like the strength the strength and the weight is just too much it's just too much to handle you know and of course he has more experience and even if he didn't have if even if he didn't have 25 30 years of judo uh, uh, under his belt I would still have a hard time like uh, dealing with this guy because he's too big, like and, and I, I've 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 come across that in judo. Like you meet a guy who's like uh, just bigger, heavier, stronger, and stuff like that. And even though he's a uh, let's say uh, okay, can't be too too how do you say it? like a white belt, right? Because I'm a brown belt. But I mean, damn man, if the guy's like blue green and he's like you know athletic and he kind of knows what he's doing. He Forget about it. Technique, yeah, whatever, out the window, man. So if you never in any martial arts or any any coach, any instructor that tells you that, um, you know, oh, technique, technique conquers all. Eh, oh, actually, no, Mar Mar uh, there's there, somebody in jujitsu said that technique conquers all, and that's only true to a certain extent, right? Like if everything else being equal, uh, weight, strength. And stuff like that you know so but if we go into like martial arts where they don't do a lot of sparring you know also some people use the term pressure testing which I don't like I find it's like yeah whatever you know um, but if you have a coach that um, in, in, a, in a traditional martial art a sensei a sifu a master whatever that tells you <clears throat> that uh, oh technique conquers all like, oh, all you need is the secret technique and with technique you can... It's not true, man. It's not true. They're lying to you. They're lying to you. And uh, who said technique conquers all? I think it's Kyle Terra. Yeah, Carol Terra. Yeah, Carol Terra. But I mean, some of these, these guys condition, man. They're in shape. Okay, they're in shape. So they have the cardio and the 
uh, the cardio, the strength, and the muscular endurance. Like they can go for like friggin' two, three hours, man. And uh, it's very questionable because you guys, you guys have to remember something too. And like in BJJ, a lot of guys are on juice, right? A lot at the higher levels, they're on juice, man. So when the, when you're on juice, okay, you can go, you can go. You don't get tired. You're conditioned, and you and if you're a dude on top of that, that of course trains. Uh, you're on juice, and you, you know, so you, and you train like two two times a day. You know, a total of uh, four hours, six hours a day. I mean. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a different game at that level, right? Uh, that being said, so that's my, uh, that's my thoughts on it. You know, it's not very black and white because there is no black and white answer. But the truth is technique will only bring you so far. You do need uh, strength to, to be able to back up technique. That's what's, that's what's really important, right? Because if you just use strength, you can just uh, you can wear yourself out too. You can just get tired. So that's not a good thing. But then to... A, up to a certain point you won't be able to handle the weight and the strength difference right if there's too much of a differ, uh, dif differential forget about it you know there's weight classes for a reason so all that to say that you know train hard uh, keep your fitness up <clears throat> stay humble don't imagine that you know you're gonna learn some secret technique and you can like you know pound away at the at a guy that's much much stronger than you uh, you know and, and of so you see, it's it's not it's not as black and white as that because the thing is, if there's a there's a guy, let's say for example, if I meet a guy who uh, who's bigger than me, right? Let's say he's two hundred pounds, six foot, right? Now, if he doesn't know how to fight, right, and have better cardio, and have more technique, and have more experience in general in fighting, then chances are I'll win. Good chances, you know, very good chances. But if this dude knows how to fight. And he has good cardio and he has let's say maybe uh, you know he's only 30% less technical he's gonna bust me up you know and it's just the way it goes like it's not to say that uh, uh, I would worry about getting busted up you know that's fine because if you have to fight you have to fight and uh, you don't think about that anymore uh, because if you're thinking about that you're just gonna freeze up but you go you go and you do what you have to do uh, but Man, there, you know, yeah, strength matters, man. Strength and size definitely matters. And uh, yes, you want to be technical, but uh, I think the, the, the person who asked me this question, I'm guessing most likely doesn't train, doesn't spar, right? Because if you spar, you would understand. Strength matters. <laughs> yes, technique matters, but strength matters too, right? So it's, it's a kind of a dichotomy right there. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that made sense. Uh, I know like my thoughts are sometimes a little bit all over the place like because I don't really prep these videos. I don't uh, I don't like sit down, write them out, and then you know read off a script. I'm very just do it on the fly. I'll get better with time and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes I just jump on the video right away and I make that video because uh, I read the comment. And yeah, that's it. So like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.